What's going on everybody? So I'm up here tuning Leroy's car tonight. Uh, twin turbo LS 376 inch I think. Uh, twin turbo deal. He built it all. It's on the Holly again. So we're here at Colorado Speed and we're going to be tuning it. Uh, got a dyno set up. This is the first time I'll be on a dyno tuning a car. So rear wheel drive dyno, uh, super flow and cool little car, little Nova. So we're going to see what happens and we'll see how much power we can make. Uh, it's literally the car has 15 minutes of idle and a little bit of drive time on it and we're just going to go through all the checks, make sure everything's legit and then hopefully be able to turn it up and make some power. So we'll see how it goes. Over this, I told you that I, don't, I haven't done it because it does it on an idle every time. The fly didn't grab it, yeah, it just shut off. But just, just curious, let's crack the throttle blades a little bit more and I'll reset TPS and stuff. Right. Now, so if you put more load on it, trying. will it make boost quicker? <laughs> that was 300 horse <laughs> with the wheels not even trying. <laughs> That's what that was, yeah, 360 yeah. pound feet of torque. <laughs> No throttle. Yes. Yeah, no more. timing. Super yeah. fat. More like. Throttle. Yeah, crack. Yeah. Like, just crack it like I don't know an eighth or whatever, and then I'll reset it. We'll just see. I don't. It's weird though. It's not like it struggles. It just fucking dies. That's weird. Yeah, it's weird. Every time when you come off the throttle, what's that? Hmm. That might be it. It's shutting it too quick or something. We'll just we'll play with it. I put you at twenty percent load. So. Okay. I'm just curious, just hopefully it'll build. I'd rather it build a little earlier. Is it like two that was fifty some hundred RPM? It should have made. Was it? Yeah. On this, yeah. So alright, so I need a GPS set. Hey, yes. you're a blog, you can't tell nobody the hard power.
Four. So what's that on like a dyno jet? What would that be? I don't know. Ish. Um. I don't know. No, it's not. I mean, they're just off the top of your head. Guess. If you go, go on there. View, it'll say dyno comparison, click on that. It'll tell you the dyno jet numbers. Dyno comparison. That's what you're saying. You'll see it. Keep going down. There you go. It's the yellow line. The big one. 733. 733. I'm just curious. That's kind of cool. Interesting. 733. Yep. And that's non-correct, right? Or that's, that's correct. correct. How, how big of a difference is that number? Um, is, is even the 690 that it made correct? Yeah. So, if it's at sea level, that's what it should make. It'll make more because you're going to Right. Yeah. About two pounds. Yeah. Is that what you come up with, kind of? About yeah. two pounds is a difference? Yeah. Yeah, because I think our pressure is 11, 11, 9, and 2, 4, 3, 5, so it's going to be 2, 3 pounds. Can you close both those things for me? Huh? Can you close both those things? Yeah. Thank you. Close it top there? Yeah. And then one more time. Perfect. So what's that 733 number? I'm confused. So if, it, if this was a gyno dead? Gyno dead? You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, the uh, dyno jet. Uh -huh. uh, dyno then would be reason seven. Okay. Okay. There's like, that's where like dyno numbers are so hard, right? Because you can literally make 300 more horsepower like yeah. from like a shit dyno to like a really low bearing dyno. It's yeah. just a number. But this is a good dyno. That's why we run this style dyno. Yeah. It has a good load on yeah. it. Yeah, and then there's so. the ASC number, which is I think what the manufacturers use. Mm -hmm. Like so, when you see the manufacturer has a 320 horsepower Camaro, so they're at their ASC. So, oh, you. Uh, you put it on here, it probably make 340 ish. Probably what 380 from the factory type thing. Like, yeah, like you said. Yeah, and most of their stuff is at the crankshaft. Now, too, so. That pulls a lot of people. So what's really weird is it only made peak boost right at the very tip. It didn't come up and make well, boost. That's, yeah, that was weird. If you look at the torque curve, it was like it was coming and all of a sudden it went like this. Normally like it didn't it have the load up. in it again. Yeah, so it's real weird. Because whenever that's what it did the first time, and then when you guys made sure it was loading, um, then it would go up, make boost, and carry it out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, that's what and it's it, supposed it, to it be. And it didn't. It did it again. It didn't. It, Right at the very end, though, it made 13.2 pounds of boost. Uh, 17, almost 18 degrees of timing. But the air fuel... Air I fuel, 11.5, 11.3. Okay. But the air temp's also good, too? That's the only thing I know. 98 heard. degrees. It's pretty good. We got good air. It's nice out. Yeah, nice and cool. And we're not back to back to back to back. Well, you have your turbos up front. Like, if it's sitting there sucking it on the engine bay, you'd be... It's huge difference. Like, Jared's car over my car. Tells me I gotta buy a converter now. So that's it. We ended up making 806 horsepower in Leroy's car, and uh, we think we're blowing through the converter. So he's gonna take it home, get it checked out, 
and see what we need to do next and then we'll go ahead and turn it up some more. So if you guys would, make sure you subscribe, like, do all those things for me and we will get you some more videos of that car probably at the track and maybe some more final time. Thanks.